new project. I'm not going to put a lot of time into it, but you can see the temporary fix was a metal fence right here around with a little tarp over it just screwed into the tree. I'm going to get rid of all of this today and put something a little bit larger. I'm, I'm thinking some type of run right here attached to this tree. It'll be about five foot tall, same height as the fence. And then I'm going to run some boards up here on the top across and then wire it all in. I'll have a door right here to come and go. So they'll have a this expanded space. And I don't think I told you guys I did this metal. Flipped over the metal. So it kind of has a little rain guard right here on the hutches. Pretty cool. And then this, I'm also going to bring this out a, a, a touch. So these guys will have tons of room to pick and to have fun. Here's what the hutch looks like. Looking forward to this summer when they start laying. Let's do it. So the Home Depot run without the trailer works out okay. Honda Pilot can carry. Exhausting work, but trench here for the 12 inches of wire underneath the five foot wall right here. Same thing on this side. Another trench. I dig the wire. I went ahead and left it a foot off our neighbor's fence, our fence. Uh, a little extra barrier so there's actually two fences that a predator would have to get around i think should work out well got to fence dig this and that and then i can get to building the frame not quite as low as i'd like it but i have all these tree roots around here in the back so it's going to be impossible to get deep 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 without interfering with the roots but i'm going to be happy with this it gets it six to eight inches down um, and then I'm gonna put some blocks probably around it and but let me go ahead and start putting up this structure I'm gonna start putting some hangers right here so I can run a um, um, Whatever support on top for the wire So I'm gonna put the door right here Maybe Put one more bracing here And to cut off all the tops For a minute right here get a little air a little sun really not too worried about it being too squared put the mesh over good to go i remember they just did our bridge and there's a big four by six piece of wood up here i'm gonna go salvage it i found a bunch of stuff uh, since they've redone that bridge here it is Bridge that redone. Just redid right in front of my house. I'm gonna go. Okay, I am all done with the frame. This is a huge run. I mean, the door will go right here. You can see this is it's probably 30 feet this way it's diagonal um comes down i have a couple perches right here that's one perch i took the top one off of that one here are three just on the uh natural tree in the middle of the run just some bracing temporarily i can probably take that down the, they like to jump on these things and then this end piece right here and we are all done Except for, for the fence on the bottom so the rabbit can go in there and uh, the predators can't dig in and dig out. But again, a massive run for 18 chickens and a rabbit. You like it, Cotton? Mm Putting the wire down now, uh, a quick way to do that, inexpensive way to get a foot deep, pretty narrow, is a straight hammer. And it pretty nice, clean. And you can see that's really deep. If you come against a big root like this, just get your uh, 
the cutters and you can cut it. I like that. That is deep. You can't tell on video, but that's at least 12 or um, 12, 14 inches. Day two, could not get it all done, obviously, in one day, but day two, I got new fabric. I'll show you that right here. This is far superior than what I had as far as looks. Uh, $100 for a 75 foot, six, 75 foot roll that that's six feet tall, but I'm gonna go ahead and run a couple screws back here on the back to hold the fabric. Uh, then I'm just gonna run this fabric all the way down this run you can see i'm six foot one this this is uh five foot tall so i will have two foot overhang and i can just wrap that here's us referring to put a screw on the back just to hold the fabric screw there there and now i can roll i'm gonna have to come around this tree real quick but i'm gonna roll it all the way back You can see I got to take off this right here, but this is so much better looking than this stuff right here. So, and from a distance, you really can't even tell it's there, but just cut this out, come back to the zip tie or something right here, and then roll it on down. For cutting, I have this 45 right here. You wanna make sure you have some snips. These things are cut like butter. And I do have an angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some staples right here on my eave. And then I'm gonna start cutting this, or staple and then cut. I'm using these conduit staples just because I have ears, but uh, they really should have a U. They're not galvanized or stainless, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so what I did here is six foot fence. I took it down to the bottom, bent it, uh, foot up so folded a foot back i know i have this chain link here but just in case this is a double wall protection so now i have a barrier if they were something coyote um armadillo was something were able to get possum was able to get past here then they would have to dig uh, right here a second fence it's almost like a penitentiary maybe that's what we call this place the penitentiary coop so I kind of forgot, I have to staple this fabric down on the other side and you can see I'm only working with one foot. Thought about putting Park, my daughter back there, which she was willing, but, and I forgot to tell you about this base runner right here. I'm gonna put that on the bottom so that secures the bottom. Um, staple the fabric, uh, nail the, uh, staple the top up here and we'll be good to go. Park, Park says she wanted a staple. Go ahead. I'm holding it. Hammers on, on the ground. Yeah, that's slow. Tight quarters. You got it, baby. Hey, get your hair out of your face. Oh, it is. Okay. All right, get the hammer. Got it. Come to the very end. Okay, there, get that lost staple. All right. So, uh, no, nah, do it on the back, right, right there. But hold on, are you around it? Are you around the wire? Yep, go ahead. Got to hold it. Yeah, soft, soft, go. All right, that's you on a root, stop. Let's go to another area. Go back, you're on a root right there, baby, right there. 
Here. Yeah. Now. Turn around. Good yeah, job, baby. All the way down. You can maybe push it. Yeah, keep hammer. Keep hammer. Move your finger. A little bit more. Nice. Good job. Thanks, sweet girl. Right there is good. Get your finger. Hey, start push it. Push it first. Push it. Push it. Now hammer it. Now hammer it. All the way down. Keep going. Now you're on concrete from that pole. <laughs> All right. All right. Here, I'll give you another. Oh, yeah. All right. I buried this down, folded it over, covered it. Showed you that earlier. Here's the other protection barrier on the chain link fence. And to be honest, I connected it on the bottom right here so i don't think i'm gonna dig down my rabbit would have my rabbits would have to go two feet i think i can catch them before they you know dug two feet in one night if i have to so i'm gonna leave it like that finish the uh top right here and then this and then all i have left is to cover the front Still a pretty big task, but. Dude, it's like, how many squirrels have you caught? Three. three. Number three. Hold up. All right. All right, you can let him go. Here he goes. Ooh, yeah. He's probably tired. He's probably thirsty, too. I know. Huge rat snake. So it's been quite some weeks and I'm about to finish this. I had a little temporary setup due to baseball playoffs, practices and all that stuff. But finished head, finished, went ahead and ran this, put the fabric down at the bottom. I need to cover up with dirt like down here. That's this little gate that I put in. I need to Put up another cover right here but everything but one more piece of fabric on here in the top and i am done i went ahead and got my water feeder and what else i got the indoor large feeder too that's been working out pretty well so all these girls are set up doing well they should be laying in a couple months some leftover garden treats can tell you i can tell you how long this has been since i haven't finished this project you can see the garden is getting big tomato bushes are real tall almost six feet tall now these smaller tomatoes but everything's coming in nice and green it's pretty much all i'm doing to this chicken run enclosure and went ahead and trimmed it so you don't see the fabric on the top or the bottom makes it a little bit more clean i will have to go find a little bit more dirt to put on the outside but everything else is done i did cover up the water with just a little visqueen to prevent that from getting real dirty but this is this is it all 18 buff orphingtons i got them a nice little thing Jude put together a little lock that he's proud of. So it's pretty cool. And I might have to put a little something right here. But all done. I'm going to get my blower and blow underneath to get these leaves out. All done. <laughs>